Good morning from Bisbee, Arizona. All right, team, got my coffee. I'm just exploring downtown Bisbee and where our location's gonna be for the run camp early morning sessions. The morning sessions are all about coaching, instruction, and I needed to find a place for that. I found the perfect place. This place is awesome. Here's what it looks like. So Bisbee's wild and eclectic and nestled in this canyon just 90 miles south of Tucson and 11 miles from the border of Mexico. And it's the southernmost mile high town in America. Bisbee's unique, eclectic, and haunted. More on that later. I stayed at the Jonquil Motel, a perfect walking distance to town. Bisbee's the hub of the old wild west, filled with history, wall-to-wall -wall restaurants, and the oldest saloon in Arizona, an adventure running paradise. Bisbee hovers right around a population of about 5,000 people and was founded as a copper, gold, and silver mining town back in 1880. With the decline of the mining industry back in the 50s and coupled with the attractive climate of Bisbee, Bisbee became a destination in the 60s for artists and hippies of the counterculture, where the art and eclectic vibe still thrives today. Bisbee sits in a canyon so you're either going up or down, and Bisbee has over 300 sets of stairs, which you'll learn more about later. I arrived three days early so I could scout the town and scout the trails for our three-day run camp. So I'm out running around Bisbee and scouting for a place, the perfect place for our morning coaching session for the campers. And what do you know, up pops this outdoor fitness center. Perfect. After exploring town, I met up with my buddy Sterling for a tour of the trails around Bisbee. Sterling and his partner Eva, who you'll meet later, own the Jonquil Motel, where I stayed. Now it was time for what I really came for, the trails. Pretty much just walked past the trail. Oh, gotcha. Great. Okay. Yeah, that's a grunt. Going that way, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. There's the mine. So the way this town is oriented is there's two canyons. This is Tombstone Canyon. That's the downtown main street yep. that the motel's on. And then up there to the left is Zacatecas Canyon. Yep. And the town kind of meets where they meet. Okay. So we're going to go down this way, then we're going to go up Zacatecas. We'll cut across it. And if we want to, we can go up there. There's a shrine. You see that white cross up there? Top yep. of that hill? Yep. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. And then work our way back down. Very good. And then the mural peak one is like over these hills into those next mountains on the backside. And all you'll notice as you're walking through town, all the rock walls are different. Yeah. Like they're all made right. differently. 
Crazy. Oh wow. Oh, go, you can go all the way through it, huh? Go through. Yeah. Huh. Miners just fooling around, right? <laughs> I don't know if they fooled around. <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure they were looking for something. Right, right, right. Uh, <laughs> right. The historical brothel the bed posts. <laughs> Can't put notches on metal, right? right. <laughs> oh, I see the shrine. That's a different one. Oh, is it? Okay. I was gonna say it's not at the top. The shrine. You hear stories about this place being haunted. What's the deal? Well, this town has been here since the late 1800s. And along the way, it's seen a lot of different activity in terms of frontier life and mining and Indians. And so you get all the stories of the Wild West um, in a town like this. And, you know, it's like they say, only believe half of what you hear and none of what you see. So it's kind of like that here in Bisbee. We're known to be a very haunted town, very paranormal. Um, there's several businesses and hotels downtown that supposedly have different ghosts that have inhabited the buildings, you know, since the, those days. And there's been murders here and other nebulous activities. So it's known to be a haunted town. There's um, ghost tours that happen on a regular basis, ghost tour pub crawls. Um, there's a magician and a seance room downtown nice. and then our motel, the Jonquil, we like to say that we're the least haunted. We can't say that we're not because even some strange stuff has happened at our place. So watch your back. Yeah. Nice little view of downtown. There it is. So then would we be looking at Mexico? Yeah, kind of, uh, not, not right there, but like yeah you know seven miles that direction. yeah right right got it good get okay just down this street because it's so this is such a cool street you feel like you're in europe here it's so narrow and tight and winding and you got right. these old railings and cool old miner shacks nice. Gulch. Over here is St. Elmo's. That's the okay. oldest continuously operating bar in Arizona since 1904. We've got the magic show and seance room there. Gene's Place is the newest bar in town. The quarry is kind of a punk rock dive bar. Ooh, all right. That's got me. A, That's got me. A few the, places. What's, it, what's it called? The quarry. All right. Right next to St. Elmo's. Um, it's kind of where those yellow yep. are okay. right over there. Yeah. I can tell you. Yeah. So this is uh Arizona's smallest bar. It's in the Silver King Hotel and it's literally a room from an old hotel that they turned into a bar and I think it has two bar stools and two chairs in it and then like the little living room area by the stairs musicians and bands will set up in there and play music so it's a very little small intimate venue to see some of Bisbee's world-class musicians and have a drink. Over here is our graffiti wall. All right. Bisbee's a really, you'll notice that there's a lot of street art in Bisbee, yeah. a lot of really high quality murals and graffiti and in fact just this year 
um, a new gallery opened up called Artemisia, which is the country's biggest and best street art gallery. We have Banksy's, Warhol's, really? all kinds of amazing stuff in this brand new gallery. Really? Yeah. Wow. Setting up for the night. Good. What's How up? are you doing today? All right, all right. All right. Could be better, could be worse. Yep. Could be a billionaire, could be a hearse. <laughs> <laughs> This is the stock exchange yep. bar. It used to be a stock exchange. And if you go inside there, they still have the old uh, blackboard on the wall with company names where they would write the price of the stocks back in the right. 20s maybe. Right. right. So one of the cool things here in Bisbee are these old historic stairs that every year we have an event called the Bisbee 1000, which is like a 5K race, but it goes up like 10 of our staircases and then down different roads and back up the stairs. So it doesn't go up all the stairs in Bisbee, but it does do 10 or so staircases. This is number three. It's the biggest one of all. And you can only see about a quarter of it. Castle Rock. Yep. There's somebody up there on the right. Oh uh, yeah. So what are you doing? I'm gonna just um, infuse like flame, just the oak smoke. Okay. To do an aromatic experience. Okay. Wow. Mm -hmm. and we have to so how fire. long do you let it sit there then? Just let it kind of do its little circle, you know. Right, in there. right. And okay. then as soon as we walk it to the table, it's about ready to take off. Got it. Day two brought more trail recon with some clouds, some mist, some rain. What an epic desert experience. And Eva came along. There's the tall point, this like saddle and a shoulder. And then behind that is another little ridge. And I think that's where the trail junction is to either go drop you down into the back of Zacatecas. That's what I'm thinking. What makes Bisbee so spectacular and unique is all these trails are accessible right from the motel. Just a short, quick warm-up run to the trails. Mine country. Why not? Hot coffee on the trail? Cute. <laughs> It's such an awesome day to be out. I'm so glad we're doing it. So, what trail are we on right now? Okay, well, so. It has a name. I call trail. it the Chicken Flats Trail. Yeah. Right. <laughs> And where are we going? Is, is this, this is that road you're talking about? No, this There's... is an old mining road. Okay. Um, we're about, we're going to follow this ridge line down through that saddle over there okay. and then drop down on that side. Cool. Right back into Bisbee. That's yeah. what's so cool about it. You can just run right from town and be in a place like this. This is just right in our backyard. Yeah. You can leave the motel and just head right into the hills for ever. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you want to Oh, look at this crap. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Your mountain lion? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Here, yeah, kitty, kitty. <laughs> it's rocky. That's don't cool. go there. Is there a story behind this? I don't, I don't know. know. I'm sure there is. <laughs> yeah, right. I just don't know it.
What's so special about today? Well, just look around. I mean, this is beautiful. And what's special about it is that it doesn't always get like this. Arizona is a pretty hot, dry place. And so to have this kind of moisture and mist in the air, it's just, it gives it a whole different atmosphere. And here comes Trudy. Hi, Trudy. Hi. You can see the backside of town right over there, starting to pop up. Sweet. So cool. All right, Sterling, what was our stats? Six point six and a half miles. Nice. We got about a mile to go to get back home. Nothing like going on an adventure run just to get some breakfast. All right, I'm above Bisbee, Arizona. It's day three of scouting courses for our run camp that starts this evening. All the campers get in today. We're gonna do a meet and greet tonight by the campfire. And then our first session starts tomorrow morning, Thursday, and we go for three days. So I've got a steep little climb here and I'm looking to tap into a trail that we hit yesterday. Yesterday was an amazing, amazing day. It's January in Arizona, you might think Getting rain and mist and clouds were not part of the recipe as far as a weather forecast, but that's what we got. It was simply amazing. And I was with two locals and even for them, it was a special day. I've got morning eyes. I didn't really sleep that well last night. As I get closer to camp, that's typically the case with me, similar to getting closer to the race. My mind starts really going, organizing everything in my mind, and it's hard for me to sleep. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm trying to scout out and map out what is called the big loop around kind of the backside of town. And it, you gain its entry from one side of town and you finish on the other side of town, one big loop. And that's what I'm trying to map up now. So eventually we're just gonna wrap right down and through here and hit this canyon that spits us out at the other end of town. Pretty crazy, just from town. Found my way and just gonna explore a little bit. All right, I'm super psyched. I figured out the big loop. I'm gonna start from one end of town, head up the trail this way, head that way, and then all the way down and around, down that canyon, and then we end up in the opposite part of town. So cool.
So that finishes up my recon. This is gonna be day three. And I'm headed back to get some firewood for the campfire tonight and get ready for all the camper arrivals. Over and out from Bisbee, Arizona, the Big Loop Trail and Born to Run World.